welcome back to my channel. My name is Chris. You've reached Chris Loves Lux. And today we're going to do a good old fashioned foundation wear test. So I did haul the uh, Guerlain uh, Paris Late Essential Natural Glow Foundation uh, 16 hour wear um, foundation. It has an SPF of 20. It says it hydrates and it protects. So we're going to see how this wears on oily skin right my skin is normal oily really more oily than it is normal it'll get normal in the winter but every time every other day every other season it's oily so we're going to see how this wears um i'm going to go through the application rather quickly and then i'll do some uh uh every four hour check-ins i'm not going to of course test the 16 hour at least that's not my intention right i might get 10 hours out of it before I wash it off but we'll see uh what what goes on with with the foundation if you haven't done so already don't forget to subscribe to my channel head over to IG and follow me at Chris Loves Lux don't forget to like comment and share and just so that you know the color of this foundation um it is 05N Honey um so because I don't remember mentioning it mentioning it during my application so i said you know what let me just say it up front it's 05 n and for neutral even though i think it may have leaned just a little more golden than neutral but anyway let's jump into it and i'll see you at the end all right y'all eyes are done uh i use the natasha denona 28 plan uh blue purple palette um all right so we're gonna go in to shake this up again real good my face is primed with my milk hydro grip and we're gonna go in and i don't know about the shade y'all looks a little golden a little too golden look at the consistency it's thick y'all it's not runny so i'm gonna use two pumps that might not be a bad shade let me get a clean brush We'll use this BK Beauty brush. And, oh yeah, this is thick. Mmm. I don't know about that. Let me see. Hmm. Can't explain the smell. It smells like it doesn't smell like necessarily a actual fragrance versus a um kind of like a skincare maybe in it. Actually, it's an interesting smell. I don't know. It's not like fragrance, fragrance, like Chanel or La Mer. Um, need to bring you guys in a little closer. Not a bad match. It is a little a ye little yellow, right? Just a tad bit. Got a little. It's a yellow or orange, but let me put it all over my whole face. Could be the lighting. No, it's not that bad. Especially when I shear it out. Here we go. Definitely see that glow, right? Way has coverage because I had a little I have a little friend right here and you could barely see it so it has coverage it's not completely full definitely medium to full but look at that it is glowing y'all and y'all know us oily people get scared of the glow this is glowing 
but it has great coverage. But y'all see, y'all see that shine? The shine is there. Um, and it says natural glow foundation 16 wear. It's the SPF I smell in it, I believe. SPF of 20. That's not a lot, but it does have SPF in it. Um, hmm. That's glowy to the 10th power. I know y'all can see it in there. All right, I'm going to hurry up, finish the rest of my face off camera and come back. And I'm doing that because this is going to be a wear test. So, you know, I have check-ins and everything and I don't want the video to be too long, but I will come up a little closer, bring this down. That's glowy. I'm not mad at the shine. I'm just nervous. I'm real nervous, y'all, because this is shiny. I mean, the glow is real, okay? So I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup, come back, start the clock, and check in. All right, everybody, here's the finished look. Um, I did, I only put concealer underneath my eyes. Normally, I do the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my chin. I didn't put anything there because I didn't, I wanted to see how this wears on, you know, um, my t-zone without anything else over it that might make it a little more oily or anything like that so i only have concealer here i did powder here with my um charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless filter i also lightly used it around my face um only because i got nervous about the glow y'all i had to set the foundation um i do have bronzer on only right here so i didn't put anything like no bronzer on my forehead. Um, I have no highlighter on and I still got a glow. Okay, I have a little bit of blush on, a little bit of bronzer just right here just to give some shape to back to my cheeks. Um, and that's it. Um, of course, I finished my eye up using the same palette. Um, I have um, Tom Ford's Pussycat lipstick on with a ground control lip liner by Pat McGrath. So this is the, this is the final look for us to start the, the wear test. Uh, the time is 8.45 a.m. So I need to jump online. Um, so I'll check back in around 12, then again about four or five and see how we're doing, okay? All right, I'll see you guys soon. Everybody, I'm back. I'm still under studio lighting because it is a nasty day outside. So it's too dark for me to try to do natural light shot. Um, but I wanted to just bring you guys in. I want you to see my skin right now. And if you remember, I did not bring the, the um, concealer. I said I didn't bring it too far down because I wanted to see how it reacts. There, I put no concealer here, none here, etc. It's just down here. I lightly powdered my face. Okay. The time is, it's 12.40. I started at 845 right with the wear test and as you can see it's definitely me come closer you see all that oil production that's a lot of oil production I did not put a mask on I have not gone anywhere literally I went from filming to getting on conference calls that's it all I had was coffee and a half of a slice of piece of toast. So it's not even like I really, really even ate in the last four hours. So, you know, it's not a lot of action going on down here to make anything break up. And nothing has broken up. Honestly, it looks good, but it is oily. I do see my oils coming out. I'm coming in a little closer. Definitely all around here. I would, I need to blot right now. Um, I had my glasses on and I have not fixed that you see a slight impression nothing crazy a lot of times foundations will sink into my glasses um, and on my glasses um, but you don't see it there but that oil right here is serious it's 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 a it's a series for four hours and I didn't do anything it's serious but this is this is it says that it's for all skin types but I don't know this this might have to be a winter shade like really dead or cold winter shade so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna blot around my nose 
See, that's better. I'm gonna blot my chin. It's definitely better. I have no highlighter on my nose, so that's straight up my shine you see there. So I am going to just blot really well and it kind of refreshed the look, right? Other than that, I mean, the foundation still looks great, right? My skin looks good. Um, it's great coverage. It is, it is. they say glow, they mean glow. Um, so just keep that in mind. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna go ahead and have lunch. Um, I'm gonna check in about five o'clock, you know, and see what it looks like because that would actually be pretty much at the eight hour mark and it says 16 hours on the box and that very well could be for those that maybe don't have oily skin but we're gonna see we don't know i blotted so let's just see i'll check back in a few more hours hey everybody okay i'm back just i'm not finished working but i did want to do a check-in um, I know it's Friday. I probably should be finished working. Actually, I'm filming on Friday and I should be finished, but I'm not. And I just wanted to check in. Um, the time is five o'clock on the dot. I wanted to stop because I could keep typing and working forever. So I wanted to stop and just show you guys what I'm looking like. Do y'all see? Oh, hairs in my do y'all see the shininess on my face y'all come on talk to me y'all see that i look like i'm sweating and i'm not sweating okay so i'm going to just pat this side of my face down so you can i honestly i know this is going to be a little weird but i just want to show y'all the difference right if I literally still glowing but do y'all see that I look like I got Amaral on my damn face y'all look at that like just slap me on one of y'all tires I could rub my face on my tire and it'd be nice and shiny rims be popping do y'all see that right now right I mean that's that's a lot of shine <laughs> um now if you go there is no real movement other than right here around my actual nose i'm just gonna come in a little closer and see no see the the found it oh it did break up it broke up a little bit right here and that's probably because i ate right and if I, yeah, broke up just a little bit, very little in my actual fine line. Um, just a slight impression from my glasses, but that's, that's to be expected. Yo, I'm really shiny. So I'm actually going to pat again. Listen, it's saying glowy for a reason, okay? It's saying it's for, it's you oily skin can use it, but baby, if you oily like me, and you not okay with blotting, think twice. Now understand, I haven't blotted since the last time I checked in, right? But I also haven't gone anywhere. I mean, no mask, nowhere. Haven't gone anywhere, I literally, have been sitting at my computer all day so that was shiny i mean it looks better now it still it still has a i'm gonna call it a luminosity to it but that's what it says it does right it's saying natural glow foundation and for me not to have any highlight on at all and y'all see the sheen so it is doing what it says it does. Now the only thing is, is that for me being oily, 
it's got me looking awfully shiny so at this point I'm not done with this check-in because I have to finish working for a little bit just for another 30 minutes or so then I need to go down the block check on my dad make sure he has dinner and stuff like that and come back so I'm gonna have my mask on and stuff I really want to see what it looks like after that so that will be my final check-in and final thoughts so I'll see you soon all right everybody I'm back here's the third and last check-in you can see the shine honey I'm shine city right now shine city okay the time is uh, 7:41, so it's about an hour 40 minutes since uh, two hours 40 minutes since my last check-in um, you can definitely see the oils pretty much all over my face I look like I'm sweating to me tell me in the comments do I look like I'm sweating because I I'm looking and I'm like okay especially right here it looks like I'm sweating let me just check in the mirror yeah um foundation is beginning to break down just a little more and that's probably because I just had dinner um since my last check-in I did go to the supermarket really quick then I went to see my dad really quick down the block and then I came back and I ate and um, that was after I finished up, you know, some more emails and stuff. Had my mask on for about an hour or so. Um, so this is after all of that. Now, I, it doesn't look terrible, right? But for someone oily like me, I am just like, whoa, can you imagine if I was actually outside all day? Um, it's, it would be a lot. I mean, a simple blotting, and naturally, this is a sponge, but you can definitely blot with a with an actual blotting paper. Probably would be better. I mean, everything just looks like, and I'm still shiny because it is truly a, a glowy foundation. So, my thoughts. Um, I don't hate it. I like the luminosity. I like how radiant my face looks, but it goes from radiant to just straight shiny. I mean, it was so shiny at every check-in that I'm not sure I would necessarily buy it again, right? I will use it during like the dead of winter snowing real cold that will probably be this will probably be something i would use because my oils won't produce as much um my skin tends to go kind of normal at that point as opposed to oily but this was a lot and i had on a mattifying primer right and i put on powder and they put on a lot but i still put on powder right so so just consider that as well um i love the finish of it i think the color match was fine everything else but when they say um glowing natural glow foundation they mean it it is a natural glow foundation okay um glowing to the 10th power as far as i'm concerned right so if you do not like glowy foundations and that this is a little beyond your skin but better and all that nah because nobody naturally glows and shines like this right so um those are my final thoughts would i buy it am i regretful that i bought it no will i buy it again no um because it's just not a good fit for my skin type right i will use it in the winter i'm not going to pick this up again probably for another month i'll probably try it again around the christmas time if the weather gets a little more cold see how it reacts um those are my final thoughts tell me what you think down in the comments you know do you have this particular foundation are you enjoying it i can see someone with dry skin definitely enjoying this right even somebody normal leaning dry can definitely um uh, would like this because it is hydrating um you know it has good coverage if you have hyperpigmentation i think it will be fine um it's just that those of us oily girls this is a lot you already um, we already produce our own luminosity we don't need no extra not when not like this so 
let me know down in the comments again don't forget to like share the video don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already head over to ig follow me at chris loves lux and until next time stay safe stay healthy stay tuned and i'll see you in the next video bye guys